let us read the Bible scripture. Psalms chapter 139 verse 4, 1 to 4. Psalms chapter 139 verse 1 to 4. It's a psalm of David. It's a psalm of David. Today. Okay, ready? Let's read it. Oh, Lord, you have searched me and you know. You know, when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my outgoing and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. Okay, today the title is God's Reign. Or Achke Kalamka Jo Anwan He. वो है खुदा का राज गॉड्स रेन खुदा का राज ओके यहां खुदा की हुकुमरानी 139 वर्स 1 टू 4 और आज के कलाम का जो आयत है वो है ज़बूर की किताब 139 बाब पहली आयत से चौथी आयत तक and the subtitle of today's sermon is that the ruler of life and death and good and evil thing. Life and death, um, good and evil. Zindagi or mod. Or achi or buri uh, We may we may think that good things are from God and bad things are from Satan. Or sometimes we resent, we blame on God. We resent God for giving us hardship. However, all events and things are happening in uh, God's reign. Think about it. COVID-19, this epidemic is outrageous all over the world. And we don't know uh, where is that from. But we know that it's from God. And then some can say that, oh, then God is wrong, God is evil. Is God evil? No, he's right. He's always right. Now he's carrying out something that he planned. Think about this. We've been stuck in the house because of COVID-19. And we've come to realize that, how, realize how bad we are at praying and enjoying the gospel. So God is now renewing ourselves. 
तो इसके जरिए खुदा जो है हमें हमारे आप हमें अब नया कर रहा है you know satan is also under god's control jaisa ki aap jante hain ki shaitan bhi khuda ke control mein hai if god doesn't allow him to move he can't par agar khuda ne na hukm de ke wo kaam kare to wo shaitan bhi nahi kar sakta do you know an individual job in old testament kya aapko pata hai ayub ki kitab थी got this par ek din shaitan ne khuda se ye kaha lord god the reason job loves you is because of his possession aur khuda shaitan ne khuda se ye kaha ke ae khuda ayub jo hai wo aap se mohabbat isliye karta hai ki uske paas jo ohda hai and god said no job love uh, job loves me uh job job will love me uh, without them without the, his possession par khuda ne kaha nahi ayub jo hai in in cheezon ke bagair par mujhse mohabbat karta hai so god allowed satan to take all the possessions away except for his body par to phir khuda ne shaitan ko ijazat di ke us uske jism ke ilawa sara saman le le so it's all gone away तो ये सब कुछ अचानक से खत्म हो गया दाउस वॉज हेल्ड अप बाई रॉबर्स और उसका अचानक से घर जो है वो डाकुओ ने पकड़ लिया उस डाकुओ ने उसका घर में कब्जा कर लिया एंड द फायर फेल फ्रॉम द स्काई एंड बर्नट अप शिप्स एंड सर्वेंट्स और उसके जो घरेलू मुलाजिम हलाक हो गए और उन्होंने जानवरों को भी चोरी कर लिया and a big storm came and uh struck the house and it collapsed on his children aur ek aur aur ek bada toofan aaya aur makan par hamla hua aur uska ghar tabah ho gaya they all died aur uske bete aur betiyon ko maut ke ghat utara and do you know what job said par aap ko pata hai ki ayub ne kya kaha This is a confession of faith. Ye hai iman ka ikrar. He said, "I have come as a naked body and I'm going back naked." Aur usne kaha, "Main ek varhana jism ki tarah aaya hu aur main ga ye wapis jaunga." The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Khudaan ne diya aur khuda ne le liya. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Khudaan ka naam ki Jalal, That, that's quite different from our, our confession, right? ये हमारे इकरार से कुछ मुख्तलिफ है. And again, God allowed Satan to strike his body. और एक बार फिर खुदा ने शैतान को उसके जिस्म पर हमला करने की इजाजत दी. So Satan has given him the skin disease. तो शैतान ने इसको जिन की बीमारी दे दी. Job had to scratch his body with stones. तो अयूब जो है अपने जिस्म को जो है वो पत्थरों से खींचना पड़ा. You know the wife of Job was looking at him, and he came to her. He came. She came to him, and he, and she said, "Curse God and die." और उसने और अयूब कि जो बीबी थी वो ये देखती थी और वो कहती थी खुदा पर लानत करो और मर जाओ एंड दिस इज व्हाट जॉब सेड और ये जो अयूब नबी ने इकरार किया वी शुड एक्सेप्ट गुड थिंग्स फ्रॉम गॉड एंड व्हाई नॉट बैड थिंग्स हम जो है अयूब ने कहा हम खुदा की तरफ से अच्छी चीजों को कबूल करते हैं और बुरे कामों को क्यों नहीं दैट मींस बुरी चीजों को क्यों नहीं दैट मींस 
Job knew that God reigns over his life. He knew that all these good things or bad things, they are all from God. A man of faith can look upon God when they encounter a big problem. And at the end of the day, Job became a brand new person after all these passed away. So he confessed this. Book of Job 23, verse 10. Are you on it? Do you have the scripture here? Okay, please. Job 23, verse 10. Okay, let us read. But he knows the way that I take and he has tested me. I will come forth as God. Amen. That's the confession of Job. So no matter how big your problems are, I pray that you can hear his voice. God wants to give you the good thing after all. And all these are the process. And God, He wants to show you the hidden plan that you can even never imagine. And I hope uh, you can truly find His plan through the message in this week. So let's get into number one. We confess that God is the master of all. He's the master of our past present and the future uh, as you read today the, the scripture and he said uh, in verse 3 it says you discern my outgoing and my lying down and in verse 4, before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely. That means, before you say something, he knows that. He knows everything. You've past, you present, and the future. He knows. So don't worry. Interest your whole life to Him. And secondly, fear God. What do you fear? Now, your future or your reality or your financial situation 
or those who persecute uh, believers? Yeah, wo logo se aap khob zada hai jo ke imandaron ko jin par zulm karte hain. Do not fear them. And you don't, we don't have to take revenge on them. God can handle with them. So, Matthew 10, 28 to 29, let's read. Matthew 10, 28 to 29, Matthew 10, 29, 28, 29. Okay, let us read. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your Father. Amen. So, um, we don't have to fear anything. Anyone. And he is looking at you and he knows everything, right? Even the sparrow is uh, taken care uh, from God. Then how much more me, right? Even an ant, you know an ant, right? He can move under the permission of God. And God loves us, his son and daughters, the most. So we don't have to fear anything but fear God alone we must always stand before God you know most of the time we fear people right mm. We fear what people are saying. To me. That's the point, right? But we don't really fear God. So let us fear God and let Him uh, sit on the, the seat of the Master of me. Number two. So do not lose hold of the gospel till the end. Continuation. In order for that, we should possess the unshaken conclusion. What is our conclusion? Jesus is the Christ. Right? He's the priest, he's the prophet, and he's the king. You know, look at the world now. There are spiritual problems all around the all around the world. 
دنیا میں جو ہے پوری دنیا جو ہے اس ٹرم اس وقت روحانی مسائل میں مبتلا ہے وی می بی ایبل ٹو ہیل دا فزیکل پرابلم شاید ہم جسمانی مسائل کو حل بھی کر سکیں شفا بھی ان کو حل بھی کر سکیں اور لیٹس سے دا ویزیبل پرابلمز اور یا کہہ سکتے ہیں کہ وہ مسائل جنہیں ہم دیکھ سکتے ہیں although we can uh, we cannot heal the visible disease covid 19 hatta ke wo masail jo ke covid 19 hai bimari jaise unhe abhi tak hum nahi hal kar sakte but do you think that we can really uh, heal the spiritual problem kya aap wahan ke mein sochte hain ke hum khud se rohani masail ko hal kar sakte hain Do you think that you can really uh, solve the problem of the curses that are coming to our life? Kya aap samajhte hain ke jo masail jo lande hamare zindagi mein aati hain unhe hum hal kar sakte hain? That's the force of Satan. Ye aati hai shaitan ki taqat ke zariye se. That's the force of the hell. Ye aati hai dozak se. How can you overcome them? To hum uske upar galib kis tarah se aa sakte hain? Do you think you can really overcome by your own effort? Kya aap waqai mein samajhte hain ki aap khud ki taqat se un par ghalib aa sakte hain? No we can. Nahi hum aisa nahi kar sakte. Only the gospel can win over them. Sirf anjeel ke zariye se hum un par ghalib aa sakte hain. So we should hold to the unshaken conclusion. To humne grift rakhni hai jo ke hamare ittaam ko hum dama dol na ho. Jesus is the Christ. Or ekatam kya hai? Wo hai Yesu hi Masih hai. If you hold to it, you can solve the spiritual problem. Agar aap ise taam mein rakhte hain to hum jo hai apne rohani masail ko hal kar sakte hain. The invisible spiritual problems are solved by Jesus Christ alone. Sirf rohani masail, andekhe masail, sirf Yesu Masih hi ke zariye se ye masail hal hote hain. So when jesus passed away on the cross this is what he said right before the, his death to jab yesu masih ne apni jaan dene se pehle ye ikrar kiya tha it is finished aur kaha tha tamam hua it's all done ye khatam ho gaya hai khatam ho gaya hai we should confess this humne ye ikrar karna hai with the name of jesus christ it is done tamam cheezon yesu masi ke naam se khatam ho chuki hai do you have problem kya aapke masail hain what kind what kind of problem do you have kis kisam ke masail hain aapke are are those problems really a problem kya wo masail waqai mein pareshaniyan hain they are not problem the the problem is the me who takes it who considers it as problems agar asal pareshani ho to hamare paas matlab hum use pareshani ki taur par lete hain us pareshani ko and if that is a real problem then we have an answer agar ye aur us pareshani ko agar wo waqai mein asal pareshani hai to hamare paas uska jawab pehle se hai the answer jesus is the christ aur wo jawab hai yesu hi masih hai so the thing that we should do now is to not deceive be deceived by satan to hame kis is hame kya karna hai humne shaitan ke dhokhe mein nahi aana satan tries to deceive us right shaitan hum mujhe dhokha dena chahta hai وہ کوشش کرتا ہے شیطان مجھے دھوکا دینے کی دس از ا اسپریچول بیٹل یہ ایک روحانی جنگ ہے یور ورک پلیس از ا اسپریچول بیٹل فیلڈ اور میرے کام کرنے کی جگہ جو ہے وہ روحانی جنگ کی جگہ ہے میدان ہے جنگی میدان ہے ایون مائی ہوم مائی ہاؤس از دا بیٹل فیلڈ حتا کہ میرا گھر بھی جو ہے وہ جنگ میدان جنگ ہے شیطان از سمارٹ اینڈ اسٹرانگ Shaitan jo hai wo zaheen aur taqatwar hai. We cannot win over Satan. Hum shaitan ke upar ghalib nahi aa sakte. So how can you uh overcome the deception of Satan? Shaitan ke hum kis tarah se shaitan ki azmaish par ghalib aa sakte hain? 
we should do what Jesus has done. You know, Jesus was fasting for 40 days, and after that, Satan has come to Jesus to deceive him. Uh, Satan deceived, uh, tried to attack say, uh, Jesus. Uh, saying that, hey Jesus, if you're a son of God, uh, if you're hungry, transform this stone into a bread. And Jesus defeated Satan with the word of God. Says, man should not live by the bread alone, should live with God's word. This is the way how we can overcome Satan's deception. Hold to the covenant. What kinds of what kind of problem do you have now? He will he's gonna deceive you through that, right? Should I go back to home now or not? What should I do? I'm getting old. Right? That's the deception. But we should hold to the covenant. We should hold to the gospel. We should hold to the word of God today. He's the master of your past, present, and the future. Do not fear the future. Then fear God. And hold to the unshaken conclusion. We are shaking, wavering. We always change. But his word doesn't change. This fact, this truth doesn't change. What is your problem? What is that from? Fundamental problem. And what is the solution for that? Do we have several solutions? Can you choose? No, there are. There is one and only answer. Jesus is the Christ. So we should hold to this. Nothing else. So gospel is very simple. And lastly, do not commit sins with your mouth. You know, Job has lost his family, his property, and he got sick. And even the wife said, curse your God and die. And his best friends said, it's because of your sin. But as we all know, he did not resent for God and did not commit it. Uh, commit sin with his mouth. Lekin, jaisa ke hum jaante hain ke Ayub Nabi ne apne khuda se 
अपने मुंह से कोई गुनाह ना किया और खुदा से नाराजगी नहीं की और मुंह से गुनाह नहीं किया then how can we not commit sin with our mouth फिर हम अपने मुंह से गुनाह कैसे नहीं कर सकते it's the same ये बिल्कुल यक्सा है put on the word of god in your heart and mouth ye bilkul ek aisa hai jaise hum khuda ke kalam ko apne muh aur apne dil mein rakhte hain can we read uh, psalms 119:11 aaye hum dekhe zabur ki kitab 119 bab 11vi ayat mhm Zabur 119 or Yarmi Ait. Under 19. Okay, can you read that for us? Man, man, a tere kalam ko apne dil me rakhliya hai. Ta ke man, tere khilaf guna na karo. Amen. Amen. So he says. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Or is me likha hai ki maine tere gunah ko apne dil mein rakh liya hai taaki main gunah na karu. If you put on the word on your in your heart uh you are able to not commit sin with your mouth. Jab aap khuda ke kalam ko apne dil mein rakh lete hain to hum muh se gunah nahi karte. If you think a lot you going to have unbelief to jab aap bahut zyada sochte hain to phir hum gair imandari gair imani cheezein mein ulajh jate hain but if you pray a lot you will you will get closer uh to god uh through his word par lekin jab aap dua zyada karte hain to phir hum khuda ke aur zyada nazdeek hote hain khuda ke kalam ke zariye se but the reality is this we commit sins with our mouth par sach to ye hai haqeeqat to ye hai ki hum apne muh se gunah karte hain but then what shall we do to phir kya kiya jaye jesus told peter that peter would deny jesus patr yesu ne kaha ki patras tu mera inkar karega and at that time peter couldn't accept that aur aur us waqt patras ne ise qabool nahi kiya he said i'm not going to deny you और लेकिन उसने कहा कि मैं यीशु की तर्दीद की आखिर में नहीं करूंगा मैं यीशु की तर्दीद नहीं करूंगा बट ही डिड डिनाई जीसस दैट आई डोंट नो हिम लेकिन आखिर में उसने उनको उसको छोड़ दिया उसकी तर्दीद की एंड आफ्टर हैविंग रेजरेक्टेड जीसस केम टू पीटर जी उठने के बाद यीशु पतरस के पास आया बट ही डिड नॉट पनिश पीटर but he has given him a question aur usne patras ko saza nahi di balki usse ek sawal kiya john 21 15 to 17 yohanna ki kitab 21va bab you don't you don't have to find okay yeah he said do you love me wahan par wo sawal kiya yesu ne kya tum mujhse pyar karte ho he should have told him Why did you deny me? Wo usse keh sakta tha ki tumne mujhe mera inkar kyun kiya? I have told you. Maine tumhe ye keh chuka tha. I have told you that you're going to deny me. Main tumhe ye keh chuka tha ki tum meri tardeed karoge. Why did you forget? Kyun tum ye bhool gaye? But he didn't say that. Par usne aisa nahi kaha. And he he said, "Do you love me?" Usne pucha, "Tum mujhse pyar karte ho?" And Peter said, "Yes, I do." Aur Petrus ne kaha, "Main ye you know that i love you tum ye jante ho ki main tumhe pyar karta hu that's our god ye hai hamara khuda even if we commit sin with our mouth uh even if we deny him he always forgives us and he comes back again par hota hai agar hum khuda ka inkar bhi agar hum guna bhi karte hain lekin kyunki khuda humse mohabbat karta hai तो वो हमें छोड़ता नहीं and at the same time he gives us the mission of our life और इसी के साथ वो हमें हमारी जिंदगी का मिशन देता है जीसस सेड टू पीटर 
और यसु ने पतरस से कहा इफ यू लव मी देन फीड माई लैंड तो उसने कहा कि अगर तुम मुझसे प्यार करते हो तो मेरी भेड़ों को दो He's giving us the covenant to raise our posterity. और खुदा ने हमें ये अहद बख्शा कि हम अपनी आने वाली नस्ल को उठा सकें। After we denying Jesus. हत्ता के उसने एक अंतर्दीद की थी यीशु की। That's the love of God. ये है खुदा की मोहब्बत। So he knows all the difficulties and mistakes that we have. वो तमाम हमारी कमजोरियां और But they are not problem. पर वो कोई मसला नहीं है. However, he wants us to listen to his voice through that. ताहम वो चाहता है कि हम उसके जरिया उसकी आवाज सुनें. There are good things and evil things. वहाँ यहाँ पर जो है अच्छी चीजें और बुरी चीजें हैं. Good things may come, bad bad things may come. शायद अच्छी चीजें आती हैं, शायद बुरी चीजें आती हैं. In good things, there are blessings. अच्छी चीजों में शायद बरकत होती है, नेमत होती है. But we should we should really know this. पर क्या हम आगे में इसे जानते हैं? In bad things, there are more blessings than in good things. तो क्या पर आप जानते हैं कि बुरी चीजों में अच्छी चीजों से ज़्यादा नेमत और बरकत होती है? He's giving us his hidden blessing. In the bad things. खुदा जो है हमें बुरी चीजों में अनदेखी छुपी हुई बरकत बख्शते हैं. And he's he wants to talk to us through और, this. और वो हम खुदा हमसे बात करता है. He's even talking to us even now. खुदा हम अब भी हमसे बात कर रहे हैं. So listen to him. तो हमने क्या करना है हमने सुनना है बात को. So let us come to the conclusion. Or I am ekhtam ki jaani chahiye. This is the seventh lesson out of ten about the foundation of foundations of faith. Ye humare saatma sabat hai. Das total mukammal sabat mein se saatma sabat hai iman ke akida ki. And do you guys remember the first? Lesson. क्या आपको याद है कि पहला सबक क्या था? The first out of ten. दसवें में से पहला. What was that? वो क्या था? God sovereignty. God sovereignty. Absolute sovereignty. खुदा की खुद मुक्तारी. मुकम्मल खुद मुक्तारी. Okay. Absolute sovereignty. खुदा की मुकम्मल सब खुद मुक्तारी. And this has a deep relation with today's uh, sermon. Or pehle sabab ka gehra rishna hai aaj ke. What is the meaning of that? Iska mani kya hai? Everything is in his hand. Iska mani hai ke tamam chizay khuda ki haath mein hai. So we should interest everything because he's the master of all. To humne kya karna? Humne apna tamam chizay khuda par chhod di hai. So in this week. I hope you can really hold to the covenant and have victory in this week. Or my umid karton ke is hafta aap khuda ke ek ko thami rakhenge. Let us pray. I am Allah Kare. Lord, thank you for your unending grace. Khuda man, hum aapka shukr karte hain na khatam hone wale fazl ke liye. We are too weak that we are always wavering. Hum bahut kamzor hain, isliye hum hamesha dagmagate hain. But we know that God is unshaken, uh, unshaken, and He's giving us His word. But we know that God is unshaken, and He's giving us His word. But we know that God is unshaken, and He's giving us His word. So God, may You help us to really foc- be focused on Your word alone, and get the strength from the word. Or God, may You help us to really Let us see the hidden plans uh, through the trials that we may face. Or, हमें हम हम जो छुपे हुए आपके मंसूबे हैं उन्हें जान सके और जो हम आजमाइश में हैं उनसे मुकम्मल तौर पर हल पाए. Let us interest our life to you, God only. और हम अपनी ज़िंदगी को आप पर 
예수 그리스도의 크신 그 은혜와 하나님의 영원하신 사랑과 성령의 내주인도 역사 충만하시니 오늘 하나님이 주신 이 언약의 말씀을 붙잡고 하나님이 모든 것을 주관하신다는 사실 속에서 하나님의 말씀으로 승리하게 원하는 사랑하는 모든 서남아시아 제자들 머리위에 지금부터 영원토록 항상 함께 있을지어다. 아멘, 아멘.